Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Reptiles make very good pets for quite a lot of people. They don't often take up much space and they're fairly easy to take care of. However, say you don't have a lot of space for say a 120 gallon. There are still some reptiles that you could probably get into and have a lot of fun keeping. Here are five in no particular order of some of the best reptiles for small spaces. What am I saying is a small space? Because size is subjective. Well, for me, and for the concept of this video, small spaces is something that is a 40 gallon breeder or less. So that's a, an enclosure that a lot of people can, can have room to put in. Say you're in a studio apartment or you're, in a, you're simply renting a room. Anybody can do 40 gallons. Very easy to take care of. First snake on the list, Kenyan sand boas. These are a criminally underrated snake. They are known in the community, but they are very small. Uh, females only hit about two and a half feet. Males are a little smaller. Um, the enclosure could be 20 gallons. You can go bigger if you want, but 20 gallons is perfectly fine for a uh, female. Males, you might be able to get away with 10 gallons, but I would still increase it to 20. Just give them plenty of room. They don't need a heat lamp. Instead, they need a heat mat from underneath. Uh, they don't come out and bask. They are always under their substrate. So a heat mat set to around 90 degrees during the day, it can drop down to about uh, the low 80s at night. They will be happy with that. Kenyan sand boas, being boas, love food. I have n almost never had a problem getting mine to eat. Uh, if there's food, she'll go after it. She does constrict it and she loves her food. Uh, they do eat appropriately sized rodents. So that might be a turn off for some people, but there's still nothing to sneeze at. You can find a Kenyan Sambo for about $60 to $100 on average. Morphs will raise the price. For a normal Kenyan Sambo baby, $60 to $100 is what you're looking at. Next animal on the list, African fat-tailed geckos. These are smaller geckos that don't get too big, about 11 inches. You can keep younger individuals in a 20 gallon enclosure, so you can always keep that up younger. Um, an adult probably will need a 40 gallon enclosure. So you're gonna wanna increase as the animal grows up. For the hot end of their enclosure, you will need to supply a basking spot between 90 and 100 degrees. And the low end can be about 75 degrees. Uh, they will need multiple hides throughout that enclosure, but they eat readily available feeder insects. So crickets, mealworms, whackworms, small dubia roaches, they they'll take those, no problem. And for an African fat tail gecko, you're looking at about $150. Crested gecko. These are one of the most popular pet lizards in the world right now. They are amazing. I'm looking for one myself but they are great little lizards. They don't get too big, about eight to 10 inches. Young animals you can keep in a 10 or 11 gallon enclosure, much like this one here. Whereas an adult, you're gonna to wanna to increase that to about 20 to 25 gallons. They do require a vertical enclosure with a small footprint, but more space, ver obviously vertically. They, like to, they love to climb. So that's something you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. They can be kept around room temperature, just supply UVB. I've spoken to some breeders, they always recommend UVB, but they don't need high in temperatures. So they keep them in mind. Food is prepared and sold in bags. You can just order it online, keep it in the freezer, and it will last forever, or at least until it runs out. If you don't keep it in the freezer, you're just gonna wanna use it by its expiration date. Again, 
very easy to feed. It's a powder that you mix with water and you can use that way. They're very easy to take care of. Crusty geckos, on average, cost about $70 to $100, though morphs will obviously drive that price up. Next, milk snakes. I have a milk snake of my own. I love milk snakes. They are such a beautifully colored group of animals. Uh, being king snakes, they do eat other snakes, but it's totally worth it. Just keep them alone, you're fine. They're lovely snakes. Uh, they can get up to about 42 inches long. Mine is still growing. But young animals can be kept in a 10 gallon enclosure, uh, though I do recommend beefing that up as they get older. Helena, my milk snake, is currently in a 60 gallon enclosure, and this should be plenty big enough for her as she gets older. For temperatures, you're gonna to wanna to look at high 70s to low 80s on the warm side. That's where I keep her at, it works just fine. Uh, appropriately sized rodents, something you always wanna keep in mind and on stock, you can, again, as for Kenyan Samoas, you can just order the rodents online and they get shipped to your door in dry ice. Works beautifully. Most milk snakes, you're looking at around $100. It depends on the morph, and the actual subspecies. But overall, they are great little snakes, I love milk snakes. They are starting to increase in popularity a lot. More people are working with them, but I don't, rec don't regret getting her out. She is a wonderful snake, and I can wholeheartedly recommend milk snake. Final snake, one that I've been looking for, desert rosy boas. These are fairly small snakes. They are one of two boa species that are found in the United States. Uh, they get up to about three feet long on average. And the enclosure can be up to 30, can be about 30 gallons. So I do recommend going a little bigger if you can, but 30 gallons is perfectly fine for an adult. Temperature for the enclosure, it's cooler than what you would think. Uh, you're looking at low 70s on the cool end and mid to high 80s on the warm end. And they do eat appropriately sized rodents. There are several different locales of desert rosy boas um, that have different colorations, but Overall, they are great snakes if you can find them. They're generally not too expensive, and I wholeheartedly recommend them. That is my list for reptiles that can be kept in smaller enclosures of about 40 gallons or less. Uh, no ball pythons, they need a little bit bigger enclosure, but these five are wonderful additions to any collection or someone that's just starting their collection of reptiles. These guys are great. Highly recommend them all. If you have any other suggestions, leave them down in the comments below and let me know what other topics you would like. See you get round, guys.